I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge. I pledge to do my best for Thero and work to achieve school's goals. I'm committed to striving to do better. I'm continuously improving. I will look up, not down. Forward, not back. I will uphold the standard of excellence and become the finest individual that I can possibly be. I am a global citizen, positively impacting every life that I reach. I am college bound, college ready, and committed to succeed in life. I am a Thorough Panther. Man my Thorough Panther. I am a Thorough Panther. Yo soy Thorough. I am a Thorough Panther. Good morning, Thorough Panthers. My name is Ashari Hankerson. And I'm Donovan Harris. Today is March 6, 2015. Welcome to this week's news show. We would like to take this time to wish everybody a happy birthday that was born during the week of March 1st through March 7th. Those students are Taorian Collins, Jamie Harris, Savon Dennis, Jordan Graham Stevenson, Kentavious Hughes, Rashad Jordan, Tyrion McGregor, Kristen Murray, Antico Wilson, Toriah Barlow, Kato Amanu, Astu Ture, and Christavius Waters. Happy birthday. One of FBI's most wanted terrorists captured in Somalia. The 29-year-old Somali-American Liban Hajj Mohammed left the United States in July 2012 to join Al-Qaeda in Somalia. Mohammed is wanted by the FBI for allegedly providing material support to terrorists, but his extradition is not assured, as the United States and Somalia do not have an extradition treaty in place. He was arrested as he traveled from an area controlled by terror group Al-Shabaab in southern Somalia. The one-time cab driver in Northern Virginia is being held and interrogated by Somali officials. Homeless man shot by the LAPD. Who is Africa? No one knew his real name, but on the streets of Skid Row, that was his home, and Africa was his name. He was shot and killed by Los Angeles police officers Sunday for scuffling with the police officers. The entire shooting was caught on video and has renewed accusations of police brutality because it showed him already on the ground. Police officers say that he tried to reach for a gun, thus he was shot, but he was shot multiple times and there are still speculations. And now to Jordan Hawthorne with this week's green light. Good morning, Dan Thero. I'm Jordan Hawthorne, and Black History Month during February was for the commemoration of African Americans that did wonderful things for the community of Atlanta. Although for March, I'm going to be highlighting money-saving tips for students. See, having a job isn't what makes you financially stable. It's the decisions you make and how you spend your money which determines if you're going to be financially stable. The first step, or the first tip for this month, is mastering the 30-day rule. Whenever you're considering making an unnecessary purchase, wait 30 days and then ask yourself if you still want that item. Quite often, you'll find that the urge to buy is passed, and you'll have saved yourself some time, money, by using simple waiting techniques. The second one would be make a shopping list when you go shopping and actually stick to it. The point of a list is so when you go in there, you have an idea of what you're going to get. You don't just pick up any random item and you don't just pick up anything you don't need, anything that's unnecessary. And the third tip is instead of always going out, invite friends to come over and hang out instead. You can do a recreational thing such as playing basketball, playing cards, or even just hanging out. That'll save a lot of money and a lot of time. Thank you. The baseball team will play on March 10th, March 12th, and March 14th. On March 10th, the baseball team will play at Hapeville Charter starting at 5.30. On March 12th, the baseball team will play here at the school against South Atlanta starting at 5.30 as well. On March 14th, the baseball team will play at Banneker starting at 11 o'clock a.m. The soccer team also plays on the 10th, the 12th, and the 14th. On March 10th, the soccer team will play Coretta Scott here at the school. On March 12th, the soccer team will play Kippa Caddy also here at the school. And on March 14th, 
the soccer team will play Maynard Jackson at Maynard Jackson. The track team has a track meet on March 10th starting at 4.30 p.m. at Grady Stadium. Friday, March 13th, the CCC will be hosting a college and career fair in the gym. Thank you. Now let's go to Sharice Herndon, our prom fashionista, with this week's prom tips. Good morning, Thera Panthers. I'm Sharice Herndon, and I'm here to give you this week's prom fashion tips. As you all should know, this year's prom theme is The Great Gatsby. Here are two dress styles that our lovely ladies could choose from. The first one is a short, sequin, fit and flare style dress. This type of dress could be paired with silver sequin heels and a statement necklace. The second dress is a long, high neck, sleeveless, mermaid style dress with a court train. This type of dress could be paired with simple black heels and black accessories to accentuate the dress. That's all for this week's prom tips. Stay tuned for next week's tips with your prom fashionista. Now let's go over to Kenyandre Montfort and Taylor Terry with this week's sports report. Good morning, Dale Panthers. My name is Taylor Terry. And my name is Kenyandre Montfort. And last week was the NFL Combine where there were many ups and downs. The NFL Combine is a showcase of talent that came from college. Speaking of top talent in college football, James Winston, the top ranked quarterback from Florida State, ran a 4.97. While Marcus Mariota ran a 4.5. What do you run? Two. Mm. Faster than James Winston. All right, but most would say that James is the top ranked quarterback. In the NBA news, the Rockets beat the Cavs 105 to 103. It was a very interesting game as James Harden was fined later after the game after kicking Baby Bron Bron in the thigh. You know what? And he also. Missed a bunch of key free throws too. That's LeBron. why that's the reason why they lost the game. LeBron missed a lot of free throws, but did you see James Harden bop the LeBron? That crossover. Yeah, that crossover. Yeah, that was pretty good. Team playing that crossover left and right. All right, and on to my favorite part of our sports segment: college basketball. It was women's side of college basketball. It was number two South Carolina versus number fifteen Kentucky. The game cops were upset by the Wildcats, sixty-seven fifty-six. In my opinion, South Carolina didn't have a good game. They shut. Um, Kentucky had shut down Welch, the key player. So, I don't know how many points he had or whatever, but without her, they weren't going to be nothing. So I got to just don't like South Carolina. That's <laughs> and that's March. Do y'all know what that means? March Madness, of course. Do y'all have your brackets? Because I don't have my, I don't know who's going to win. This is going to be interesting. I got Louisville. But anyway, that's all for our sports segment. I'm Kenya J. Monfort. And I'm Taylor Terry. And that is all for this new show. Join us next week. And remember, in the words of Helen Keller, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see a shadow. Thank you for joining us this week and we'll see you next week.